Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to build a Wi-Fi controlled multi-sensing robot. With this robot, you can observe the environmental conditions like light intensity, humidity, temperature, LPG leakage, etc. This is a college project. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First let's build the chase of the robot. I am using 5mm multi wood for this. You can use the same or you can use any plastic body. Next we need 4 DC motors. This is 150 rpm gear motor. Now let's fix the motor to this chase. I am using super glue. You can use super glue or hot glue gun. Whatever it is fix for motors to chases like this, follow the same steps. I fixed four motors on chase. Now let's connect wires to motors. It's very simple, just connect two right motors together and two left motors together. After connecting, let's check the motor should move in same direction. Next we need a motor driver, I am using L298. Using female header connectors, I connected the PWM pins to 5V. Then I connected motors to driver. To control this robot I am using node MCU. I connected diodes and all components together. You can download schematics from my blog link is in the description. Connect all components according to the schematic. Now let's add V4 wheels to it. You can use any kind of wheels. I am using this one. You can find the purchase link from my blog. After attaching the wheels, let's set up the blink up. In blink up, I am just adding some more buttons to my previous project. So please watch my previous video to know more about that. Add 4 styled buttons and place according to your idea. These buttons are for controlling the rover. So first select one button and you name as friend then select pin D8 Do the same for every buttons for right select D4 For back select D1 and for left select D0 
that's all about uh, bling up setup after uploading code to node mcu now let's check the drawer you can see everything is working perfectly so let's continue our build now let's set up the uh, sensor part i am using dht 11 to detect temperature and humidity connected ground and vcc to ground and vcc of node mcu then i connected the out pin to d4 you can use any kind of sensors like moisture sensor vibration sensor etc here i am using a ldr to detect light intensity after connecting everything now you can see everything is working perfectly you can download schematics from my blog link is in the description Now let's do a trial run. You can see when I press the forward button, the rover moves forward. So you can see everything is working perfectly. With the help of internet, you can control your robot. If you have any doubts about this project, please let me know. You can comment it below or you can use WhatsApp group to clear your doubts. Link is in the description. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.